ways to tape your knee and you may want to try a few until you find what works for you. You can also ask your physical therapist to help you. The main idea is really just to add pressure in the right places. It's not a cure, but it can help temporarily with patella tracking, instability and pain. It is my understanding that kinesiology tape is not the same as traditional sports tape. Both tapes can be useful but they have different purposes. They are not the same as medical tape or the equipment tape such as used in hockey. Kinesiology tape, also called kinesio tape, K-tape, or the brand name KT tape, is thin, and elastic. It is available in a wide range of colors, different widths, and in rolls or pre-cut strips and stays on longer, for about 4 days. You can shower with it and it dries quickly. It is sometimes called elastic therapeutic tape because it can improve lymphatic fluid and blood flow. Once it starts to peel off at the ends you can gently pull it off. There is also sports tape, or athletic tape. It is thicker, stickier, non-elastic, and restricts movement more. It is often white. It is very supportive and like a temporary brace. If left on for a long time it is more likely to irritate the skin. Some people recommend leaving it on no more than a day. In this video we show two ways to apply tape to a knee. First, is one way to tape to help with dislocation and instability. Now, before you begin, make sure the skin is clean and free of oils or lotions. If it's your first time using tape you may want to apply a small piece and leave it on for at least an hour to test if your skin is sensitive to it. I don't think this is common but possible. I know some people whose bodies seem to rebel against everything. You know who you are. So, I'm gonna need about that much. I'd spray well. Because I go around the corner, I don't think I'm going to need anchors. I want to make sure we're stuck here. I'm going to hold it here. And I'm going to pull, tighten up your thigh for me. Now with your knee bent, tighten it up. And I'm going to come around the corner. If I only came to here, it's easy to pull off. But if I come around the corner, you're okay. I'm going to pin it here, take the stretch out, come around the corner. I can get some real specific focus right on the edge of the patella here. I can come here same way. Tighten up your thigh. Okay, keep it right there. I'm going to pin it, hold it, give it a little pressure, come right, come around. And then I'm just going to do my same cover, right to here and right to here with that tape. And it just puts a little pressure to prevent the kneecap from going laterally while they're moving. If it was a bigger person, could I use a 3 inch piece and a 2 inch piece and a 1 inch piece? Sure you could. You could use the same basic idea. Could you see what I'm doing? Kneecap wants to go this way, we're just putting pressure here to limit its motion. For this application, we're going to position this knee in 90 degrees and we're going to take our first piece of tape, a full strip, and we're going to fold that in half and we'll take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut rounded corners around the folded end of the tape. What rounding the corners does is help prevent any uh, catching of the tape on clothing and peeling that off prematurely. We're going to twist and tear the backing paper right in the middle of that piece, being careful not to touch the adhesive of the tape handling it with the paper only. We're going to place this with 80% stretch, so we're going to stretch that all, all the way and then back that off just a little bit for 80% and lay that down, but the very ends of the tape you're going to lay down with absolutely zero stretch. Great, so absolutely zero stretch on the ends. We're going to take our second piece that we created off that first full strip, peeling that paper back. Just like the first piece, we're going to apply nice even pressure to 80% going just above and over that first piece. Again, we're going to lay those tails down with zero stretch. Great, looks good. Okay, we're going to take our next piece and we're going to twist and tear the paper down by the logo end of the tape to create an anchor point. We're going to measure this from the kneecap around, or just below the kneecap, around the kneecap and lay that anchor point up on the quadricep muscle, up on the thigh muscle. Okay, we're going to remove the paper backing. We're going to apply this with 25% stretch. So if you stretch that out all the way and then back that off half and half again, 
And you're going to trace the outer edge of that kneecap with the edge of that tape. As you wrap down around the front of the knee, you are now going to apply 80% or sorry, 50% stretch. And then the last bit of stretch or tape, we're going to lay down with absolutely zero stretch. Awesome. Okay, one more piece. We're going to twist and tear the backing paper, but down by the logo to create an anchor. We can just line this up with that first piece, but on the opposite side of the thigh. Once again, we're going to remove the paper backing. And we're going to handle the tape by the paper. And just like that first piece, we're going to stretch that out 25%, tracing the inside edge of that kneecap with the tape. As we go around the front of the knee, we're going to apply a little bit more pressure, 50%, and then back that off and then lay that tail down with absolutely zero stretch. Give the whole thing a good friction rub just to create a little heat. That allows the adhesive to stick to the skin much better. Make sure you get all the corners, rub that on well.